When Funko started to announce all their pops for the San Diego Comic-Con, this auto and his companion piece, Amazing Carlos, really stood out to me. They were just so bizarre and unique, and I had no idea what they were. I just knew that I wanted them because they looked so cool and different. Um, unfortunately, though, I saw that they were numbered pieces. This one's 3,000. So I was like, man, that's going to be hard to get, and they're only available at the Comic-Con, so I might be shit out of luck there. But yeah, I did some research on what spastic plastic actually is, and it was Funko's original line of toys. They were pretty small. They came in a tube with some pretty cool artwork on there. Um, this guy's artwork just talks about how he's like some German mechanic in a spark plug factory or something. They were original characters that the Funko designers uh, made up. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool designs that I hope Funko actually makes into Pops too, instead of just these two, because... These are part of Funko history. Like, they're similar to the Freddies, where they're Funko's character, and, you know, it's cool to have some of the actual Funko items in your um, collection. But these are so colorful and unique that I would want some of these instead of just a bunch of Freddies. I want some of these plastic, plastic characters. They're really cool looking to me, and I think they would really make great pops. But yeah, if you want to pause and read that, go ahead. Um, it kind of just tells a little bit about um, what these are. But yeah, really cool figure. Let me open this guy up. Alright, so this character is German. So I guess I would explain the World War I style German helmet with the spike on it that he's wearing. And the Iron Cross. Not sure if the 13 symbolizes anything with German history. Or if the designer just thought it was a cool number. Or if it's for the unlucky 13 or what. And he's a mechanic, so he's holding a wrench. And a cool detail that a lot of people might not notice because I didn't notice it until I took him out of the package is that he's holding an eight ball behind his back. I just think that looks really cool. Really just bizarre, but cool. His clothes is pretty simple, just a purple kind of jumpsuit thing um, with it half over his mouth. If you look closely on the eyes, he's got a little bit of red around his eyes and a little bit of blue highlighting his bags. Just makes him look extra ghoulish. I like that. Looks really cool. He's wearing some patent leather boots. Yeah, he's pretty simple, but these little details like the eight ball, the wrench, the 13, the iron cross, just makes him look pretty unique. And he's definitely going to stand out in my collection. I'm glad I was able to get this guy. I want to get that Amazing Carlos too, because the Amazing Carlos has even more details. Really crazy looking. Yeah, and the helmet's nice and shiny. It's got like, not a metallic paint, but a very shiny kind of um, silver paint with almost like a little metal flake in it. Looks really cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this guy, and I'm glad I was able to get him. The way I was able to get this pop is that he was the item they added to the Funko shop on Wednesday, the day before the con. I had a feeling they were going to add something special, and they did. As soon as he showed up, I bought him, I checked out. And I went back to the shop about two minutes later, and he was already unavailable. So they either had a small number of these, or there was a lot of collectors thinking the same thing I did. And they saw this guy, and they shit their pants, and bought him right away. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Amazing Carlos, because they put him on there on Thursday during the con. And I was out pop hunting on the 21st, you know, like everybody else. And I missed out on him. Hopefully, I'll be able to find him for a relatively low price because I really don't like paying a lot for pops. But that amazing Carlos looks really good. So I'm hoping I can get him on eBay or something for, I don't know, I hope 40 bucks at the most. That's maybe wishful thinking. Maybe once the excitement dies down, um, the price will go down a little bit once everybody gets back from the con and starts putting them all on eBay. There'll be a lot of them on there driving the price down. That's what I'm hoping because right now I think they're going for like 50 to 60 bucks, which is hard for me to spend that much money on just a small piece of vinyl, you know, but yeah, really happy with this one paid $15 plus shipping. So it came out to about $21 or so great purchase for me because I have a feeling this guy is going to be worth a little bit of money in the future. Not that I'm going to sell them, but Definitely a prized possession now in my collection because he's a little bit of Funko history. He looks cool. 
And he's my first actual numbered Funko piece. 